Good morning, guys. Hadara's out here cleaning. You can't see him because of the backlighting. But, well, I can't even show you because he cleaned most of it off. But there is a residue. Let me get it. Do you see that? <laughs> you missed a spot. This right here. It is green. And this is all of the allergens that we have coming off of, you know, all the trees and stuff. Hey, Rudy. And I'm sure it's got on this uh, rug as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just pollen. It'll end up on your car and it'll soak your car. You have to wash it all the time. Hey. Uh, mommy, I can't yeah. clean by myself. You can't clean by yourself? Yeah. Oh, you're picking up the leaves one by one instead of using the broom, though? Yeah, because I don't have the dustpan to dump it out. Well, can you get it all in a pile over here and then you can dump it out? I can pull it out. Okay. Like this. Let's see. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have some allergies going on. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> okay. I lost my balance there and fell. Almost. <laughs> yeah, we got to hang this up. He caught ours on fire accidentally because it was hanging right there. Actually, we need to move the grill, I think, so it doesn't kill my plant. Oh, for that? Yeah. It'll kill my plant, and I really don't want that. Okay. Yeah. We were going to move it anyway because it doesn't go over here anymore. We turned the light on, and we noticed that all of this porch was getting very much smoky. So that's why we can't really have it over bit here. A little carried it towards the top, and then it just, it just floats around. It just stayed. There. And we were like, oh, we didn't see this until we got lighting out here, so. Two. So you know how I was like, oh, I'm going to make mini corn muffins, give them to the kids for breakfast, give it to Raphael for a school lunch. Well, no. Uh, we were able to save the tops of them off of the thing, but the mini little pan, I guess because it's new, I've never had this problem before, but maybe I was greasing the pan with like real grease instead of spray, because I used a spray on it, a baking spray. And it usually doesn't stick, I don't think. Let's shut the door before Kitty runs out. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Why did I get any? Okay, Google. Start timer. Just Tip it to the side, Abigail. Tip it to the side. Yeah, nice. Alright, now take it out and see. Okay. Okay. You have to make it sideways like I showed you. Make it sideways like that. Hey Abigail, how about and you get it all wet? Sideways like this. Yeah, right like that, but don't spill it. Hey, it's dripping. Okay, now take it out. Pop them, pop them, pop them. Next time somebody needs to pop them. Okay, I filled it up some more. But I forgot to tell her not to make it sideways anymore. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Abigail, let's see what you got. Make a bubble. Okay. Okay. A big, 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 big one. Big one. Big Good. bubble. But then I already popped it. Popped it. You already popped a big bubble? Don't make it sideways. Okay. <gasps> Keep Don't trying. Let me try. <gasps> Go ahead. Too sticky on my hands. What? Ah, uh, I'll mess. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, success. Oh. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't flick it. Good for Oh, you almost got the giant one. Amazing. It <laughs> yeah. I left the camera outside, so now <laughs> we're going to film our goodbyes. Kitty move. <laughs> I was really worried about Raphael today. He jumped somehow on the trampoline that made him hurt his back really bad. And I am very worried, always, about my kids landing wrong, head injuries, spinal injuries. That's lifelong, right? So I'm always worried about that. And he was on the trampoline. He did a front flip, he said. And 
from what he told me, he, his face, his whole face was like touching his chest Almost. when he landed. Yeah, he just lost, his, he was out of breath for a second. Yeah. I don't know what it's called in English, but he lost. Got the wind knocked out of you. Yes. So then he said that he hurt his back. He went like that. And he landed like, I guess, on his head wrong. And, and it went even more, way deeper. And it was like my head was right here and my yeah. chest was right here. Yeah. And then what did your back feel like? It felt like one of my bones were broken and something like my head very hard. It bashed into my back mm. very hard. So you were you were jumping and then you flipped or you were... I was jumping and then I jumped in a circle. And then I almost like you always on... do, right? Yeah. And then I jumped in a little late. I did a front flip, and then that happened. Is what everything is feeling okay? Yeah. You don't have to forget about my tablet. Oh, is your tablet play. charged? What yeah. I want to play on it's here really updated, is like um, okay. Buddy Man Kick. Okay, you're playing Buddy Man Kick. I want to. And I don't know how to get that tablet. So we got the same color case for him, but for her we got pink instead of yellow because they didn't have yellow. So it's kind of hard to tell them apart sometimes because we got a pink and a red, which I should have thought better of that, but I got oh well. my tablet. Yeah. Mine is See, hers, hers was the yellow one. But they didn't have yellow. Man, yeah. they're so dirty. Wait for it. Up. Good, good girl. Good girl. She likes She good girl. She yeah. Loves he doesn't care which treat as long as it comes yep. from a human's hands. That's all right. <laughs> you good dog. Oh, does someone want to watch me finish around? Finish around? Yeah. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, my case. Yeah, you can play the switch until your thing charges. Mommy, please just watch me. Okay. Only now. And do you want to film it? Actually, I'm filming you. Hey, you know what? This mask following Crash Bandicoot right here underwater. Oh, really? He protects Crash Bandicoot for one hit. Oh, okay. And this thing, it explodes even. Th and this is called spinning. When you press Y, it goes I like... I love Crash Bandicoot. Hey, you know what? No. I like New Super Loki's Tale best. I love that, too. That's you know a what? really fun game. Which but... one do you like best? Uh, well, Crash Bandicoot, only because I played it when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm still a kid playing it. You're still three years old, actually. You've been playing it but ever since yesterday. I passed my party. Raphael had his party only... Sure. And do you, did you have your party? Your Scooby Dooby hey, you know party? I didn't have a party. No. The mask helped did me. I have a party? And the mask protected me from the shark. I'm probably I'm I'm pretty sure that we went out for my did birthday. Daddy have his <laughs> but party? But I don't remember having a party. Did, did Daddy have his party? Yeah. Daddy's fixing to have his party. He's almost You had your party. Got a birthday coming up in like one day. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do as a family for my birthday. I never really try to celebrate, ever. Uh, it's not my intention to do that. And so usually what we end up doing is, you know, just some something simple, possibly eat out or something like that. However, this year I have two more friends that live really close by, and their birthday is March 3rd as well. We're not going to party on March 3rd, though. It's going to be, like, probably the end of the month. I think I'm going to go down south with them for a day. But we'll see how that goes. We'll let you know. Oh my goodness, Abigail. You got all your dolls on the ground here. Okay. And we have a basket of toys to put away. But we put the table over here. So I still have to straighten this out. And I have to figure out how to put the tent here. I'm probably only going to put one chair here or right there or something. Oh, okay. Well, we got to get our nightgown on, Abigail. Hold on. I am really hoping that my washer is not broke. It'll light up and then I have to like press it real hard to get it to go. It's like five times now. So I am cleaning the kitchen and I'm making Raphael kitty. Ah, she's following me around. I'm gonna make Raphael's 
get ready for his breakfast and make his lunch. Um, just so repetitive, isn't it? <laughs> My brother hates mustard, by the way. So, I just make him a little roll and it fits in this little container. This is from Sistema, but they also, I've seen these, pretty much exact same thing without the Sistema brand, in Dollar Tree. So, but I think, I don't know, I got a deal on these, three for something, maybe three for two dollars or something at Walmart, I think. So just, these are these little tiny little things. I put two slices of, I think this is a mesquite turkey, and some mustard, and here's how I'll do it. <laughs> Not like that. Please tell me why mustard has so much water in it. Anyway, I put the mustard going across and then I fold it the other cross way. It's just the good way that I found to make not a mess on his lunch. Cross that way. Now I'm going to close in this way. And fold fold and fold and then put it in the little tub put the lid on it put it in the fridge for the morning to get ready for school when I bought these wraps I thought oh these are too small to even wrap anything up in but they're absolutely perfect for his school lunch I think he's gonna get a cheese stick with that a bar some yogurt and some fruit I think and then I'll see what it looks like. Probably some milk and a squeezy too. He's going to be super excited to take this. The white chocolate macadamia nut. So thank you for sending that. See, he's going to love it. And a squeezy. So all I have to do is put all this in the bag. Put it on the table. He puts it in his backpack. And then good to go. After finding out what the kids are actually eating in school with the school lunches. I just, I can't in in my conscience let them go to school and eat that type of food every single day now we let him eat it I mean they have pizza every single day at school that's that's horrible in my opinion and they have other really unhealthy choices just as equally unhealthy as pizza like could you imagine eating pizza every single day every single day and they wonder why kids are unhealthy right every single day I'd love to eat pizza every single day that wouldn't do me very good at all but since finding out like what their school lunch is we we have made like a recommitment to feeding them better and sending better food for Raphael but he does get school lunch at least once a week because he does like to eat pizza there so there's got to be some kind of balance you know between unhealthy food and healthy food and I can't I can't demonize pizza because it's pizza because it's really good and we do eat it so it would send mixed messages to say pizza's unhealthy you can eat it once a week you know what I mean so it's it's like a thin balance I don't want my kids to grow up with food issues that I had as a kid growing up into a teenager and an adult and still having food issues I still have food issues that I have to work through and I am I'm working through it. I'm finding different ways to cope with stress and everything besides eating. It's a lifelong journey, I guess. And that's just the way it's gonna have to be, eh? <laughs> I don't know any other way to do it. If you have tips, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because it's pretty late at night. I gotta load washing right now and have to dry it before I go to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us and uh, following our life, basically, for the past 10 years. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, so Hadar wants to clean out the car because eventually we're going to go somewhere and use the car. Am I right? Runs like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. He looked at him and he said, that's not a boat. This is a boat.